Hi, English 11 instructors. Welcome to Unit 2 of our course. You are probably pretty comfortable now with how the course is set up. You will have your students go to Unit 2, which is our Research and Integrating Sources Unit. They will want to watch the overview video, and you could certainly watch it as well so that you get an overview of what we're telling our students. And then they should look at these word wall definitions and know what it is that they're expected to complete and when. In the 15 week schedule, for example, they will be starting unit two and spending about two and a half weeks on it. In English 11, you will have the two progress checkpoints and then the summative assignment is no longer a journal or a presentation. Instead, you will be putting in a grade from their one-on-one -on -one class. So depending on how well they, are, they do on the database exploration assignment, that depends on how many points they get in this class. So they can get up to five points depending on their grade in the college level class. I hope that that makes sense to all of you. If not, please get in touch with me because I know it's a little bit different than we've done in the past. The progress checkpoints, similar to in unit one, they are designed to give your students a little bit more practice and um, a little bit more hands-on work and, and practice with APA, with um, maybe grammar, paraphrasing. You have a lot of flexibility in deciding what it is that you want your students to spend some extra time on. We do recommend making it super clear to your students which progress checkpoint they're doing. If you think, for example, that it is confusing to have all of the options listed, you can click on the assignment and you could delete the options that you don't want them to use. And then you could even get rid of the word option here so that students are only doing what it is that you want them to do. You could also make it clear in the announcements which of the progress checkpoints they should be working on. We just don't want students to think that they have to do all three or four options because then they would surely be overwhelmed by the amount of work. This unit on research and integrating sources gets into APA formatting and then some also important but challenging skills, quoting, paraphrasing, summarizing, citing, finding quality sources, using the CRAAP test to evaluate a source. So we have quite a few learning materials for students. You may want to spend some time on note-taking because that's not something that you will be spending a lot of time on in the college level 101 class. So I hope that the learning materials help you and your students get better at finding sources and then evaluating them. And then the culminating activity will be to integrate those sources. If you have any questions, be sure to get in touch with your chair or me or your course leads can help you. Have a great unit two with your students.